All right, so let's talk about using the half angle identity to find the exact value of an angle, okay? Of a, excuse me, of the sine or the cosine of an angle. To do this, we're going to be using the half angle identities down here. Um, for sine, the sine of half of an angle is equal to plus or minus the square root of one minus cosine theta over two. And then for cosine, we would use this one and tangent, this one here. Now you may ask why the plus or minus? Well, when we're having an angle, that means we could end up in a different quadrant. Okay, so you would have to pay attention to whether sine is positive or negative in the quadrant that your angle is ending up in, this angle here that we're trying to find. If it's in a quadrant where sine is positive, your answer would be positive. <clears throat> if a quadrant where sine is negative, your, your answer would be negative. Okay. So let's try this out. It says to use the half angle identity to find the exact value of sine of 15 degrees. Well, we only know the exact values for specific angles, right? It's the, the 30 degree angle, the 60 degree angle, the 90 degree angle. Those angles as we go around, <coughs> excuse me, I skipped the 45 degree angle. Those angles as we go around the circle. So we want to write the sine of 15 as the half of some angle to find out what angle it is half of, we multiply it by two, right? So this is <clears throat> two times 15 is 30. 15 is half of 30. So we're trying to find the sine of half of 30 degrees, right? Because half of 30 is 15. So writing 15 is the same as writing one half times 30. For that, we're going to come down here. We're going to use our identity. Our identity says that the sine of one half of an angle theta, in this case our theta is 30, is equal to plus or minus, well 15 is in the first quadrant and sine is positive in the first quadrant, so our answer will be positive here. Um, one minus cosine of that angle we were doing half of, so cosine of 30 over 2. Well there's the formula. Here comes the tough part, and <laughs> we have to simplify that. Okay, so that gives me the positive square root of 1 minus, what is the cosine of 30? Well, the cosine of 30 is the square root of 3 over 2. So now we have the square root of 1 minus the square root of 3 over 2, over 2. Okay, we need to keep going. Okay, so next, we would need to simplify this. We can't have a fraction in a fraction. So on the in the numerator here we need to get a common denominator. 1 is the same as 2 over 2. Okay, So if we can subtract those that gives us 2 minus the square root of 3 over 2 over, that's just our top, and that was all over 2. Well, The next thing we would have to do is we still have a fraction with a fraction. So the next thing that we would do um, is rewrite this over 1. To divide fractions, you invert the bottom fraction and multiply. So here's our fraction that was on top, 2 minus root 3 over 2. We're going to invert that bottom one, which was 2. So when we flip it over, we get 1 half. And then we would multiply. So now I have 2 minus the square root of 3, because if you multiply that by 1, it doesn't change, over... 2 times 2 is 4. All right, we got rid of the whole fraction problem. Um, now we need to take the square root if we can. Well, we can't really take the square root of 2 minus the square root of 3 and get a whole number. So in the top, we're just going to leave the radical there. But our denominator, 4, we can take the square root of. The square root of 4 is 2. And so here is our exact value. I know it's not real pretty, but the exact value of the sine of 15 degrees is the square root of 2 minus the square root of 3 over 2. All right, let's try another one. Use half angle identity to find the exact value for the sine of 67.5 degrees. Okay, so again, I'm going to take that times 2 and if I take that times 2, I get 135. 
So I know that 675 is the same as 1 half of 135. Okay. So again, I'm using my half angle identity for sine. And I'm going to find the sine of 1 half of 135 degrees. Now you might ask, well, what good is that for me? <laughs> well, we know the exact value for that sign, right? 135 degrees is this angle here. That's 45 degrees away from the of away from 180. Okay, so it has the same values as 45 degree angle does, but in this quadrant, um, sine is positive cosine is negative. Okay, so keep that in mind as we're finding our exact values here. So we start by using our identity. It's supposed to be equal to 1 minus cosine of our angle, which was 135, divided by 2. Now is it going to be plus or minus in front here? Again, um, the angle we're finding, 67.5, is still in the first quadrant. It's between 0 and 90. So our answer is still positive because sine is positive in that quadrant. Okay, um, we continue. What is the cosine of 135? Well, cosine is negative in this quadrant where 135 is located. And the cosine is the root square root of 2 over 2, but it's negative root 2 over 2. And you should have um, your unit circle handy um, in your notes in case you need help with that. Okay, that's over 2. Well, first thing I notice is I have minus a negative here. So minus a negative changes to plus. We need a common denominator here in our for this fraction on top. Um, it would be 2 again. So we write 1 as 2 over 2. And then we go ahead and add. So that gives me 2 plus the square root of 2 over 2. That whole thing over 2 again. Right, we keep going. And that gives me the square root of 2 plus root 2 over 2. And to fix this here on the bottom, we invert it and multiply. Okay, so we flip 2 over, which gives us 1 half, and we multiply. So now we're down to the square root of 2 plus root 2. And you can see the, the pattern kind of happens over and over again. So you'll get kind of used to it, um, as used to it as you can. Now here, the top, again, we can't take the square root of that and get a whole number. So we're just going to leave it as the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2. Okay, um, it, But in the denominator, the square root of 4 is 2. So the exact value for the sine of 67.5 is the square root of 2 plus root 2 all over 2. So you can kind of see how this works. Let's do one with cosine. Okay. So this time we are asked to find, use the half angle identity to find the exact value for the cosine of 67.5. So yes, I know you can just put that in your calculator and get an answer, but they want the exact value. Okay. So again, we go, okay, if we're using the half angle identity, what is this half of? So if we multiply it by 2, we get 135 degrees. So 67.5 is 1 half of 135. And so we'll be using our cosine half angle identity this time, right here. And we'll be finding the cosine of 1 half of, our angle is 135. Okay. Again, it's the square root, like our sine was, but this time it's 1 plus cosine theta. So 1 plus the cosine of 135 over 2. Okay. Again, we have to decide what sign to use here. Well, our angle is 67.5 degrees, again, which is still in the first quadrant. It's between 0 and 90. So the cosine in that quadrant is positive, so our answer here will be the positive. If we were to slip over something in the next quadrant, it would be negative. Okay, we evaluate here, so I have 1 plus, what's the exact value for the cosine of 135? So again, 135 degrees 
is kind of the 45 degree angle in the second quadrant. Cosine is negative there. So we have plus the negative root 2 over 2. That's the exact value for the cosine of 135. And that's all over 2. Here I notice I have plus minus. Well, plus minus simplifies to just be minus. I also want to combine these two as a single fraction. So I need the common denominator of 2. 1, I would write as 2 over 2. So now I have 2 minus the square root of 2 over 2 all over 2. <laughs> okay, we keep going. We need to simplify the fact that we have a fraction in a fraction. So we leave the numerator the way it was, 2 minus root 2 over 2. The denominator we invert through the reciprocal of and multiply. So now we have the square root of 2 minus root 2 all over 4. We try to take the square root, but we can't really take the square root of the top and not and have it be a whole number, so we just leave that. But our denominator, the square root of 4, is 2. So the exact value of the cosine of 675 is the square root of 2 minus root 2 all over 2.